big brute. Morning guys. And it is a nice morning too. The sun is shining. Had a big frost here this morning, but uh, but all good. Followed up with a nice sunny day. So I have just crawled my way up onto an Irishman. He's a big tall unit. Come on. And it's my pleasure to have him back. Um, I enjoyed riding him the prep before. And it is good to have him back. He's not overly bright. He's a little bit away with the pixies, aren't you, Irishman? But he's a nice horse. Come on. So he's spelled in very, very good condition. I've got to be careful he doesn't get too fat because he does like his food. Um, but he had a good spell, um, you know, between his after his prep, obviously. And um, and I think the only negative was that um, he got that foot abscess that turned into an underrun sole. And um, and to be honest with you, we've had to oh I have had to put some pads on his feet um, to protect his soles from the ground. And um, and he's still a little bit sore, but nothing major. I give him a little bit of anti-inflammatory painkillers every now and again just to to help um, the inflammation settle down. But um, come on, wake up. He is dopey, by the way. I think he's very sweet, but God, he's dopey. Come on, bud. So he's only just doing light trot and canter work at the moment. I've got to be careful with his feet. You know, you just, you know, sometimes they need sort of a week, two weeks to settle down. And um, you know, an underrun sole is unfortunate at this time of year. There's a lot of foot problems. Um, but anyway, it's all about management, and we're, we're managing it. Come on, buddy. So he's just a lovely big horse. He hasn't really changed that much. He's no taller than the first prep, but he was a big enough baby, that's for sure. And um, and he's a neat ride. His action's good, you know. Um, he's not actually sore or lame or anything like that, but I just know he is feeling the ground a little bit. He's got a bit of an elevated pulse into his feet. Um, but um, his action is good and his attitude's good. He's just not very switched on, that's all. He's just like, yeah, whatever. Which is good, because he might be a staying horse, so you need him to be sleeping. Don't want him wasting energy. Come on. So I've just given him a smack to get him to go. Come on. He's showing no signs of being very colty. He's got girls opposite him. They'd be lucky to be 12 foot away from him if they, well, probably less if they stuck their nose over the fence. Um, and uh, you don't hear boo from him. Um, the only thing he does do is he plays with his um, his cult friend next door, Hasseltoff. Um, and they can play a bit rough. They like to pull each other's rugs around and bite each other and do things like that. But hopefully the electric fence makes sure there's not too much damage done. Okay, bud, let's go. He would be quite happy to walk everywhere. We had a lot of rain last week, but lucky it seems to have drained quite nicely. And the roads have got a little bit of give in them now, which is good for a horse like him. So he's good in the hand. He's, he's basically come back the same horse that left. Um, which is sensational. So that little bit of education work I did to get him to, you know, round up and uh, carry himself on the contact and to go straight off the legs, um, he hasn't lost any of that. So he's come back the same horse. Good boy. He's just quiet. You know, he's just happy. He's happy to do what you want him to do. At the end of the day, he's still a baby. He still can shy and look at things, but um, he's got nothing horrible in him whatsoever. He's got a lovely nature. Come on. I'm only giving him a quick ride here for you today. It is um, Thursday today, so he's been under saddle all week, so it won't matter if he just has a quick trot and canter, uh, just so I can just give you a bit of video work on him. So as you can see, he's pretty uncomplicated. Come on. Just got to leg him on a bit, you know. Just about to swap my whip because he's just drifting to the side a bit. Come on. As you can see, he's, he's alert, he's got his ears pricked, he's looking, but he's not, you know, he's not scared of stuff all the time. He's just, he's just a nice horse, you know. He's a great pleasure to have. So thank you. I did see him trial last prep when he came to Kyneton. It was a terrible, wet, boggy day. Um, and I think his, you know, his trial was fair. Um, he looked like he was pretty fit on the day. He was quite lean. Um, so I think, you know, he probably had a really good prep of education and it was probably... A blessing that he needed to go out for a bit of a spell. These big horses always benefit from a bit more time. So nature has a beautiful way of giving them some time. Don't they, big guy? So I'm just going to trot up here a little bit further. And then I'll just canter him back. And he's lovely. Like, he's straight. He's nice. Um, he still fusses a little bit with the, with the bit. He's not overly comfortable. Um, he's a horse that I would recommend... They put a bit lifter on him to lift it up into his mouth because he can flip his tongue over the over the bit a bit. And I do remember last prep he used to open his mouth and drop the bit out of his mouth. Um, so he's always been a little bit unsettled. You don't feel it when you're riding him, but I, I know he does do it because he does it as soon as you put the bridle on, he flips his tongue over the bit. So I tend to just ride with a bit high in his mouth. Um, but I think if they were tuned into him, they would uh, possibly put a bit lifter or something like that on him. He's a good boy. He's covered in dirt. I'll see if you can see him a bit. 
He's got a lovely big eye. Hey, buddy boy. He's nice, and he doesn't mind me hanging out the side. He's a bit woolly. He's got his winter woolies on. He's not overly shiny and crisp in the coat yet, but um, that's what coming into work's all about. You know, you you rug them up, you keep them warm, you feed them, you work them, and all of a sudden they start to blossom. So, but I, you know, I honestly don't think he'll start to blossom until he's 100% in the feet, because any little bit of a niggly bit of, um, um, you know, soreness can just stop them from being at their best. But, um, you know, I'm happy to push on with him, and I'm one of the fussiest, believe me. If they're not right, then uh, I don't, I don't just push on. So I'm happy to do what I'm doing with him, and he's swinging along here nicely. Come on. Just going to drop his head. He's got his head up. That's it. Good boy. That's better. He said, "I know what you want." Come on. Let's go for a quick canter, buddy. Oh, he's a good boy. He's only quite a. He's like he's a big tall horse, but there's not there's not a long way from his from you to his ears and from me to his tail. He's quite a short sort of compact horse, but a tall compact horse, um, which makes him very neat to ride. And he's very uncomplicated. I mean, you couldn't ask for nicer than this with a young horse. He's just, he's cantering down the road exactly where I want him to go. He's soft, he's kind. He's not out to get me. He's not out to get himself. So he's gonna be kind to his body. Horses with a bit of personality that uh, shy and leap and bound and stuff like that, they, t they top a fair bit of wear and tear on their knees and joints and things. Whereas this horse, he's not gonna be, he's not be gonna be giving himself a flogging at all, which is super. That's what you want. You can always wake him up. He's a very good boy. He sounds good in the wind. So he's in great shape. He's um, onwards and upwards. Coming into the nice time of the year as well. So um, he's going to be exciting to see to see what he does. And the nice thing is he's completely educated now. So he's you know he's got all his trial tickets and things like that. It's just a matter of getting him fit and, um, and racing him. So um, thanks guys. I appreciate having him back. I love riding him. Hey, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Drop your head. Good boy. He's a good boy. Hey, hey. It's probably one of my nicest rides that I've got here at the moment. So I've got eight in work, and he'd be one of the nicest ones. You look forward to getting on him because he's just um, uncomplicated and kind. That's how you want them, isn't it, big horse? Hey. So anyway, that's an Irishman, as you can see. He's pretty cool. Thanks, guys. Bye.